Hi guys, it's X Rainbow here. A lot of you guys ask me what I use to make gold and the biggest add-on I use is Trade Skill Master. Uh, it's quite a confusing add-on so I thought I'd go through and show you guys basically what it is. It has a lot of different modules and it helps you uh, overall with WoW, whether you're posting auctions, you're mailing or even crafting items. Generally it makes the gold making experience much easier and smoother however it can be difficult to set up when you don't know what it is so uh, I'm going to be going through the basics of Trade Skill Master in this video I'm just going to give you a summary of the add-on and overall and what it can do for you and in separate videos I'll be showing you small tutorials on how you can set up each module for your own preferences uh, to help you make gold so uh, usually the first time you log on with Trade Skill Master you'll get a pop-up asking you if you want basic or advanced options. You should be clicking advanced. Um, so if you haven't done that, then basically what you need to do to open the Trade Skill Master um, config, you type slash TSM. Just as a heads up, I'm only going to be covering official Trade Skill Master modules. So if you have uh, extra modules that aren't uh, covered in this video, it's because they aren't official. The only one I'm not mentioning is in this uh, video that's real TSM module is TSM additions. Okay, so once you have opened the TSM module, as you can see, it's a huge grey box, which you can change the appearance of it if you go into the options on the first tab. So if you have a certain colour scheme, you can change everything, but I'm not going to bother with that for today. As you can see along the top, there's different modules. Each one you have to download separately, and each one does a separate uh, thing. So I'm going to quickly go through each of the modules and what they do. The first one is auctioning. Now auctioning allows you to set up lists of items um, with prices, and basically if you go to the auction house, you can uh, press post, and the auction house will be scanned according to your groups of items and it will then post the items uh, if the prices work out and you can also use it to cancel your auctions if you have been undercut etc which makes gold making so much faster because when you post auctions you don't have to do anything you just sit and wait while it scans your inventory and your groups and then again you just wait while it scans for undercuts etc. It's the best part of TSM in my opinion. So the next part we're looking at is shopping. I don't have any shopping lists myself but for those who know what Auctionator is these lists work similarly to the Auctionator shopping lists. All you do is you get a list of items such as materials and when you are in the auction house you can scan for these lists and they will all come up. Uh, a deal finding list is slightly different to a shopping list. It allows you to search for items, but it will only list them if they're under a certain price which you have specified in the group when you set it up. Next is crafting. Crafting allows you to uh, basically, it tells you when something is profitable to craft and allows you to craft it. Like, let me show you here with my jewel crafting. The way I've set it up, if I restock my queue, it will show me the gems that are currently profitable to sell that I don't already have in my bags, so I can then craft them by pressing craft next and it will craft everything for me, which is really good because sometimes it can be confusing, you don't know what to craft, um, and it's a f almost a foolproof way to make sure you're crafting the right things as long as you set it up correctly. Mailing is um, is very useful if you mail a lot between alts. It allows you to write your characters' names and choose items that you want to automatically mail to them. So if you have any of the specific items that you've listed in your bags, and you go to your mailbox and you press uh, mail auto mail at the top here, it will mail any of those listed items to the the related alts, which is so useful, especially if you're, for example you need to send greens to a different character to disenchant instead of having to click each one you can just generally send them all okay so next up is accounting now accounting records all your sales and your purchases which can be great if you want to see how much you've sold lately or if you can't remember how much you bought something for you can also generally look at items and it will tell you data on them for example who you've bought them from who you sold them to how much money you've spent or made from that item and if you buy and sell items it will tell you how much profit you've been making from like those items and then you have a general summary which is sometimes inaccurate in my opinion 
um, it depends on how you view gold statistics. Uh, the next one is auction database. Auction database basically stores all the prices in the auction house. Um, if you go to the auction house, you could run a scan, and the scan will see will record all the prices of the items and place them into your auction database for later use for from other parts of the add-on. For example, from crafting, so you will have all the prices of the gems, and it will tell you what is profitable to craft. If you do not want to scan the auction house, you can also download the TSM desktop application which automatically downloads all price data from the internet and imports it into your WoW so you always have updated prices which is really good. In my so the next module is item tracker. Item tracker basically records all the items you have on your account over all your alts. You can enable and disable if it wants to let me click, yeah, here you go. You can enable and disable different alts so it won't record items on some alts and guild banks too. And uh, so it shows you overall how much you have of whatever item. So you can keep track of where your items are. If you hover over an item, it tells you where they are on your account, which is good if you are really clumsy or you, you don't remember where anything is, which I can admit I am horrible with remembering where my items are. So next is destroying. Destroying is basically something that makes in disenchanting, milling and prospecting a lot faster. If you, um, you manually prospect, it can take like a while or any of those things, you know, you have to click on your prospect and then on the ore. However, with the destroyer, your life is so much easier. If I just get a bit of ore from my bank, I'll show you what it does. Uh, let's see, let's get some Kuiperite ore. So if I open my destroyer, Basically, um, you can keybind your destroyer to a button. I have mine set to my one key. If I just keep spamming my one key, it will, with the first click, it selects prospecting. With the second click, or well, press of my number one button, it prospects the ore. So I can just sit here and spam my one key while watching TV, a movie, a live stream, whatever I want. Um, and it makes prospecting so much easier. I found you can prospect a thousand ore in 13 minutes, which is like a lot faster than if you had to do it manually um, and just bear in mind that when I say it it helps you with um, doing these things it's not automated it doesn't do everything for you it's against the wow rules to have something you know press your your buttons to prospect for you so it's basically the closest thing to automated prospecting or milling or disenchanting that you can get so the last topic of TSM uh, module, sorry, that I want to talk about is warehousing. Warehousing basically is like a warehouse. It's to do with storage. It allows you to set up groups, depending on what items are in your bags when you make the groups. And with these groups, um, you can withdraw or deposit them from your bank or guild bank. So for example, I've made a group called Gems, which I've put all my, my known gem recipes into for Mr. Pandaria. So say my bank was full of gems, I could click on my Gems group and I could click move the group to my bags and it will do so. Um, which is great if you want to make sure you have one of every gem in your bag or whatever, however you set it up. Um, it makes life a lot faster. You can also empty your whole bag into your bank or guild bank and then you can restore it back again. It will remember what you deposited and it really speeds things up. Down here at the bottom of your screen you can see each profession. This is related up here to TSM crafting and what it allows you to do is select and deselect what items you want your crafting to make for you if they're profitable. I'll be going more into that in my other videos because um, it's a bit confusing now as you might be overwhelmed by all the different options but it's pretty easy to set up what you want to craft once you know what you're doing. For those who are unaware, this is Tradescale Master 1.0 and 2.0 is coming out in the near future. Beta is currently available to some people. I have not tried it myself so I don't know what it's like but once it does come out I will be making some tutorials with that. Just for now I'm going to be making basic tutorials for the other modules but um, they won't be as in-depth because I know that when Trade School 2.0 comes out I'll have to read you everything and I'll make them more in-depth at that point. So thanks for checking out my quick summary of Trade School Master. I really recommend it. It's a great add-on. If you're interested in learning more about it, I will be covering each module in a separate tutorial soon. So thanks for watching and I hope to hear from you guys soon.
Oh, and just a quick shout out and a thank you to everyone who's been tuning into my stream lately. It's gone so well and I'm really enjoying streaming. It's tons of fun and I'm hoping that you guys are learning a lot from streaming. If you want to check out my stream, it's twitch.tv slash xrainbow. I'm streaming a lot lately. I haven't decided my streaming schedule, but if you want to hang out, I'll be on Twitch most evenings. So see you guys then.